As a creator, I think it's so much fun to be able to just have this spark of an idea and be like, you know what I wanna make? This, this magic thing, and I wanna do it because I have a passion for it, and I think that I've got the resources in or order to make it happen. And so it's been so great to create this thing that isn't necessarily something that I knew that all of you would love, but at this point, I believe it's like 1,800 or 1,900 people who have already subscribed for Leo Sculpt just in this pilot. Like, this is the first group, and it's just mind blowing to me. I mean, just to put that in perspective, I don't even think we made it to that many people in our first launch, which was a month long of my style course. And this has only been for like four days. And so <laughs> just like, I've felt every emotion, like I've cried, <laughs> I've been like on such the, of this high to know that this little idea is something that I wanted to create. I wanted to create it with people who have been with me since day one, like with Zach being able to create something visually for everyone and with Ben to be able to have this subject matter expert to be able to craft this fitness program for everybody and then to have everyone so leaned in and ready and motivated to do something for themselves is just like, I'm just so inspired by everyone and their excitement that it's just the best feeling. Like this is the best job in the world. And so out of that came about a bajillion questions. Like I am not going to, as a one person, be able to answer every single email back, every DM. Um, I've had people write comments. I've had people write comments on my old posts. And so I thought that I would collect the most common questions and create a video about them. So this is my Q&A for that, but I also have been dying to create a Q&A for the personal things that I've been meaning to get to because I've asked you guys on Instagram for just like an ask me anything and that I'd be able to spill different things about personal life and also just some motivation questions. I've had a lot of those when it comes to creative things or on the fitness side. So let's move into all the questions. I've got them here on my phone. The first question that I've been getting the most frequently when it comes to Leo Sculpt is, will I have lifetime access? Will the program go away after six weeks? Can I buy it now and start in a few weeks later? So the program comes with lifetime access to everything inside it. All of the content is going to be there for you. I'm not taking it away. Um, the workouts are scheduled for Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And while they unlock for everybody on April 24th, you can start them whenever you want to and then do them any day of the week that you want to. So it's complete freedom and you can work on your own schedule. So if you want to start it on Tuesdays and then take those rest days in between, so it'd be like Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, then you can do that for instance. Um, or you could take it a year or two from now. So the ability to purchase it closes when the program opens, which is April 24th. And that is when week one of the program unlocks for everybody. So more content is going to continue to unlock every single Monday over six weeks. And then the workouts are repeatable. So that means that you can repeat the program after six weeks. Also with time, as we're going to update content and add new material, that means that you're gonna get access to the updated versions always. Next, how long are the workouts and can I do them whenever I have time? So the workouts are gonna take someone probably 45 minutes to an hour. Now that depends on a lot of things, like how much time you need to rest between each exercise. Um, but you can do this again at your own pace. You can do it whenever you have time. So let's say that you only have 30 minutes to squeeze in a workout that day. Just do 30 minutes of that guide, that um, workout, and you're gonna be totally fine. And just do what you can and work and listen to your own body through that process. Next, do you think that the gym program is more challenging than the home program? Does one have better results since most of your results were from the gym sessions? And should I opt for the gym option or like why should I do that or should I opt for the home option and why? So according to Ben, who wrote the program, the results should be really similar based on how he built the two versions. So I trained with him in the gym and when we worked out, um, 
all of the workouts seem to be equally balanced between the body weight workouts and the weighted equipment exercises. So it really depends on which version, home or gym, suits your lifestyle because they're both built to reflect what he had me do for the first six weeks. Is there an option to bundle them, home and gym together? Can I buy both at a discount price to mix them up a little? I've had questions also, is there a hybrid where someone can work out at home some days and the gym other days? Are both programs running parallel, meaning will they be working on the same focus areas? So we considered bundling. We really, really thought about this. And if someone buys both, then you would technically have access and be able to choose whichever program that you wanna work on. So with that said, the programs are designed to work individually. So the home workouts are built to build on the next home workout. And the gym workouts are building on the next gym workout. So they're not necessarily built for switching between one and the next and the next um, between home and gym. So for now, we recommend just choosing one plan, but we've had lots of requests about that hybrid version in the future, which I think would really help if you guys like that idea. Um, it just helps to hear that, so then we know to put our time and effort into creating that for you next. But if you are already purchasing both, then I really don't think there's gonna be any issue with that. I think you're gonna really enjoy both programs. Just know that they're built um, individually and so you're gonna have access to some content once in a while that's very gym tailored versus home. And if that suits your lifestyle, I think that's fine too. Next, could you clarify a bit on course structure? Like, should I expect it to be like a Peloton class? So after login, you're going to have a page that has everything right Right there for you, including a welcome video from us. And then when a new week unlocks, you're gonna have access to a downloadable workout guide, and that's gonna include that week's workouts. You can also tap any exercise in it to see me perform them through video clips. And since some people just prefer to follow the video portion, then you can watch all of those video clips together so that you can just work at your own pace, pause, play, just at your own speed. So I've used and loved Peloton in the past, but these workouts are less like a recorded workout and more like what you would see inside of a workout app, which lets you see what it should look like and move through them at your own pace. This also gives you the ability just to be able to do things like listen to music when you want to and not have to deal with just my corny jokes over and over again as you're repeating the program. Then in addition to the guides, throughout the six weeks, we're gonna have access to new videos every single week on different topics. And those topics are gonna not only be about fitness, but it will touch on nutrition tips and um, your style in relation to your fitness gear and as well as your hair, your beauty, all the different things that you can do to just build confidence. And then mindset is such a powerful force and I really wanna unpack that just in order to just sculpt this new hero version of you. I think that that's really what makes Leo Sculpt so different is because our goal is to create a program that builds meaning and clarity into someone's whole being. It's not just about one area. It's just as much about feeling confident as it is about that expert level advice on fitness. Next, what equipment is needed for the gym version? I had this question a lot because some people not only go to the gym, but they might have a gym in their home and wanna know how much equipment is needed. So for the gym routines, we included equipment that should be found in any gym for the most part. And there's gonna be some modifications in there as well, just in case a piece of equipment isn't there. Um, ben did a really good job keeping in mind what is generally accessible to most people at a gym. And so he designed the gym program um, with things like benches and dumbbells, um, some bands and barbells and plates. And so there's a few exercises that will include like a cable machine or a seated row machine. But with that, um, he also included alternative exercises for beginners in the gym. And those ones generally use less equipment and they're more like using a dumbbell instead of a barbell or a band instead of a machine. Okay, for the home version, what equipment is needed? So for the home version, you, all you really need is a soft surface. It's really great if you have a mat. Um, we 
really recommend having some resistance bands, just some mini bands. Um, that's gonna really add resistance and bring a lot more back workouts into your life. Um, but you'll have to skip one or two exercises if you don't have that. Then it's also optional, but really great if you have a foam roller. That's gonna help you as you're in the like cool down stretching periods sometimes. And then for the dumbbells that you're gonna need at home, um, just something between like two pounds and 15 pounds, depending on your fitness level. And for me, I have like a three pound, five, 10, and 15 pound. So if you're completely new to fitness, then you might only need something that you have around your house, like a couple of coffee mugs if you don't have dumbbells and I have links to those just for like Amazon links that are gonna be really great to be able to find those really quickly and that's in the welcome area of the program okay one person asked this program is only six weeks and we know it took Bethany six months to get to this point so what happens after the six weeks plus I saw on Instagram that she's working out five days a week now not just three so like that said I've been training with Ben for over six months now but most of my progress was in the first three months of working out and eating right and so the routines on both the gym and the home versions are really similar to what I've done throughout my six months so far um, but for the first two months Ben only allowed me to work out for three three days a week and that really helped my body get adjusted to a new level of stress that I was putting on it and then letting it heal in between those sessions. The really cool thing is that Ben discussed this in the video podcast inside the program how strength training burns higher calories even on the rest days. So you're always doing something to count toward your goal even on those recovery days. And this is something that cardio workouts don't do. Um, what's really cool though is that six months in, I've gone up on those workout days and so I've been working out more and using heavier weights as I progress each month. Plus, the program is repeatable after six weeks, so you can continue to just progress long after the program ends. If you guys have an interest in working out five days a week, if that's something that you'd wanna see in the future as a leveled up version, then let us know and we know what to build on next. Next, can I take this program while pregnant? So number one, that is literally so exciting and so valuable and we just wanna protect you and your baby to be perfectly healthy. So just please keep in mind your own health is the top priority. So this is general information and it's not a replacement for the fact that you should really consult your physician before changing or starting any fitness program or any change to your diet. So this program is designed for someone who is not pregnant. So the intensity and the nutrition information is something that you really should consult your doctor about. With that said, this program, because it comes with lifetime access, means that you could just take this in a year or two. If you join now, then you can just always have access to it. Okay, now I want to get to everybody's more personal questions that you guys asked me. A lot of them still will be fitness related, which is honestly why we built Leo Sculpt in the first place is because I wanted to answer something for everyone that would actually provide a transformation. So <laughs> there's definitely gonna be some overlap when it comes to the fitness topic. So the first one is what helped you stay motivated during the first few weeks or months of your body recomp? So I think that the answer for me is that motivation to start is a great way to get your foot in the door. The problem is that most people fall off the bandwagon because they aren't consistent with it, they don't have their why, and they don't have a reason to show up. For me, it's not really a matter of what inspires me to, to keep going as much as it is what I look forward to there that makes it like no question, like really disappointing that I couldn't go. For me, that's involving other people. I love to go to the gym with Zach. I love getting to train with people. I love to be able to be a part of everybody there. And if you go to a place like the gym, then you see familiar faces a lot and you get to meet people and check in with them. That's like such a high for me because I'm an extrovert. I'm shy and soft-spoken, but I'm an extrovert. And so it's so nice to be able to have that routine 
And um, I think if you're doing the home program, it would be really important for you to have somebody in your life that you could go on a walk with every day or something like that. Like that's gonna look different for everyone depending on where you live. But the more that you can check in with people and be excited to be a part of something, the better. And I think that even that's what I'm seeing within the Dearly Bethany, Bethany Leonardo, Leo Sculpt spheres is like people are so excited to take this all at the same time and do something for themselves. Now on the nutrition side, what keeps me motivated to keep going is I really didn't understand macros at first and I didn't understand their importance. But now that I've been tracking that plus my calories, I use an app for that. And it's so great to be able to like see it as a game. I'm like, if I can just have a few more egg whites or something, then I might hit my protein goal for the day. And like just seeing it as fun, like a game, like trying to complete something makes me feel not only like I achieved something like something in a game, but I also feel just very very capable and in control of something because that's just the worst when you don't when you feel like life is just out of control and this is the one thing that you can and then obviously I've talked about this for about seven minutes in my last video so you can definitely check that out but just the feeling of it just not feeling so exhausted all the time but actually energized and the capability of being able to move things that you know like picking up laundry or anything is just so easy in my life now and that's definitely a motivator for me next how has working out changed your life? I think that the answer to that is that I found confidence when I found my personal style. I learned about things like enclosed cognition, which is the concept of you can think better and perform better at things cognitively if you're dressed the part. And I took that to even further, like I dress the part when I'm going to the gym. And so then I really started feeling like this superhero version of myself. So the style persona that's in my style course where I'm crafting this vision of who I want to be, one of the questions that I ask my course members in that is like, how does this person work out? And what, what kind of things do they do? Is it, you know, a bar class or like, is it, a Leo Sculpt product <laughs> or like whatever it is. Does this person go trail running? It could be so many things and just building that out as this version of you that's inside you and always has been is something that you can start to see a difference in. And so confidence has been the number one thing that has changed my life with working out, with fitness, with eating right. Just being able to say a self-discipline thing of like, saying no to yourself every day to something, being like, you know what? There's an amazing cookie over there, but just for the heck of it, I'm gonna say no to myself for that because it makes you feel more in control. And the more that you have the control, you're gonna have self-respect and that's gonna build confidence so that you can shake anybody's hand firmly and be like, hey, I'm Bethany. You know, like you're just going to be able to own it. You know what you bring to the table. Next, have you considered making your own clothing line? Why or why not? So I think it's really important to understand that when I was 14, I was literally drawing my storefront for my clothing store. And then as I got into adulthood, I had bills to pay. I had, I had so many responsibilities when it came to my finances that all that sort of went to the wayside. I stopped thinking about clothes for myself and I sort of lost that luster, which is why I found it again with you all and documented how I found my personal style. So it was like uncovering this old passion to be able to have style in my life like I was envisioning for myself. I was just, if you would have asked 14 year old Bethany what she would be doing as an adult, it'd be like New York City in the fashion scene, like creating drawings of new outfits and all that. Adult Bethany who wants to open a clothing line, I have no idea how to do the manufacturing side of it, which is why I'm amazed when things are done ethically because only 2% of manufacturers like as companies in the world pay someone a living wage throughout their whole manufacturing process and there's a million other things that i'd love to do well and then when small creators like myself were to try to do that 
then the cost per item is so high that then there's complaints for that. And so I don't really know. I don't understand it enough to make it work yet. I'm really still intrigued by the challenge of it. I would love to be able to create this whole thing with this Leo sculpt concept because I think there's so much power in showing up with fearlessness when it comes to style. And I would just love to expand Leo sculpt one day to include things like merch, but I, I don't know how to do it to the level of perfection that, that both Zach and I, I think would want to. So I don't know, I would love to, but the answer to that is I don't know how. And if you know how, then just email me. <laughs> what did you wear for your wedding dress and do you still have it to this day? So that's a really good question. The still is really important because we got married in 2009. Like think of that in terms of United States presidents. Like that was a long time ago and I had zero money. Like I had so little money. On my birthday, I actually had my last fitting and it was a disaster and I was crying because <laughs> I ran out of like both time and money to fix it, um, but they fixed it for me for free. And it was a lovely dress, I loved it. It was um, a sweetheart neckline, it was a mermaid cut, and then it's sort of like, you know, because it's a mermaid cut, it was like curvy and expanded out. It had a three foot train and I was not going to do the veil thing. I thought that that was gonna be silly, but just for kicks, I like put it on, I put on this full length one and I was like, this is it which was perfect because we had an evening wedding and it was just so, so suited so well. But now I'm like, wow, like my style has elevated. I love quality clothes. I can afford them now. And so there's some pieces that I'm like, wow, this is my wedding dress price. And it just puts things into perspective for me. And I'm always like incredibly grateful when I'm wearing something that makes me feel like that amazing <laughs> in clothing. How did you change your style in recent months to be more sporty and trendy? And there were other questions like it, like does your frequent workout influence your fashion style because of your fitness and weight loss have you had to revamp your wardrobe? I think all of that's <laughs> very true. I started first to realize that I'm gonna have to get things tailored. And then the more and more that my, my body changed, I'm like, okay, so the things that I was doing to enhance or fade, um, to emphasize or balance out my proportions are things I don't need to do anymore and actually are over exaggerating. So not only do things need to be tailored, but a lot of things don't work for me anymore. And I think too, because I'm more, uh, more toned, that things that were really feminine just really don't suit me anymore. So while I might have a taste for things, it's evolving on what looks the best and what I feel confident in. Also, I think that one of the first things that I talk about in my style course is like, will your style change with time? And the answer is always yes. It's important to invest in clothing because just like you would invest in a car and then maybe sell it, it should still last you for like five, 10 years. Like you shouldn't be buying things based on trends um, or low quality. So now I'm gonna have a really cool big closet sale coming up here. And for the moment, I'm just sort of living in the things that fit me. Thankfully, the like low slung and loose fitting things that absolutely didn't work on me six months ago are now things that were, were fitting tighter and more high up and now they just sort of drape and I think it looks fine. <laughs> Have you ever been teased or bullied for being so calm and soft-spoken? I love your vibe, by the way. Okay, I am definitely painfully shy and also I'm an extrovert, so it's so hard to like put myself out there, but there's nothing that brings me more joy. And so I think people think I'm introverted or not invested when I really, really am. Um, and so that's not really bullying. Now, have I been bullied or whatever? Um, I don't think I've ever talked about this online and my heart's kind of going crazy right now, but um, I think it's really important to understand that there was a time in my life for about a year where I sat alone in my high school. Um, my friends had left me and the ones who didn't necessarily leave me didn't want to hang out with me around those other friends. And so I learned in that moment what I bring to the table and I didn't need anybody else in that moment. Um, and I also found that I don't need friends who aren't going to be there for me in those moments. I don't like fake. I don't want anything fake in my life. I invest in real and authentic. And at the same time, 
I started dating someone at a different school and we were on homecoming court together. So I had this like interesting perspective that I find so valuable and so rare that your current situation, the people in your lives might be very uncomfortable, but that doesn't define you and it never defined me. I never let that define me. And if anything, it's made me a friend to those in exile. Somebody who maybe everyone else treats poorly or doesn't understand, that's my gang. And on top of that, I think that's how I've had an edge in understanding personal style because I've never looked down on someone who maybe dresses a little bit different. Um, that's their own style. And if I just take the time to understand something that maybe isn't my taste, then I can learn to love that person and see them in a new light. Next, I would love to know more about your interior design plans. Your house is gorgeous. Well, right now you're, I'm, you're seeing the part I'm filming, which I love. Um, right now I have about six rooms that are completely covered in like construction stuff because we are replastering walls and it's so refreshing. I love the smell. I love the look of them already. And we are also getting crown molding put up. I've shared this on my Instagram, so I'll leave it a little bit brief. Go check it out there on my story highlights. Um, but yeah, we're gonna add crown molding. We're the first in a decade of this company losing all the crown molding between here and Pennsylvania. Um, so it won't be until July. So you might be seeing my house a little bit janky when it comes to all of the ceiling and all that. Um, and we're also living on a different wing of, we bought like this really cool old lodge. And so it's got space to be able to live in a different part of it while things are being worked on. Um, and so it's really rewarding to just have this forever home. What things and people have inspired you to romanticize everyday life and how? Ooh, <laughs> that's a big question. Um, honestly, I can credit so much of this to Zach. One of the beautiful things in his spirit is just being able to be a visionary. And he had this really cool farm when I met him and his whole family had um, people come and visit it. It was like a petting zoo and a pumpkin patch and you could cut down Christmas trees and they'd have, Clydesdales like come up and buy hay from them like it was a whole experience and so his family has always been really leaned in to the aesthetics of things they're amazing landscapers too and so they just find almost like those who like lord of the rings like a hobbit would find gardening so valuable and there's joy in those small moments i would say had i not met zach i probably wouldn't romanticize that so much i think for me if you want to get into like enneagram stuff I am a, an Enneagram 4 with a subtype, um, which is self-preservation. And that means that basically I love doing things that are passion projects, but they've got to be something that is related to my vocation. So I always am looking for like, I would love to paint, but do I have time to paint right now? Because I really would love to invest in Dearly Bethany or Bethany Leonardo or like creating this um, personal brand. And so that really consumes um, my attention. Whereas it's really hard for me to like break everything, like take a break and just paint, you know? So it's a challenge for me to romanticize everyday life. So what I like to do instead is just if I'm going to buy something, I want it to be really high quality, whether that's clothing or coffee, um, like my coffee press or anything like that. I want it to be something that I find pure, purely inspirational, not something that sort of drains my energy when I look at it <laughs> or use it. And so I guess that would be my answer, long-winded though. How has your job as a content creator affected your self-esteem and body image? So this is something I think is centered around self-awareness. I would encourage anybody who wants to try to record themselves on video. It gives you such an edge to know things like your body language, um, your tone of voice, how you might be coming across in certain moments. And that can help you so much when it comes to understanding your body silhouette or how you move or how you talk. 
or how you look at people. Um, and so that practice for me for six years has been so incredibly empower, empowering, <laughs> powerful, and, and um, rewarding to be able to also have the feedback since I did it publicly because I always kind of view social media as a talking mirror <laughs> in some ways because it's like I'll post something just because I felt like it because I liked the outfit or a new brand and I want to talk about it and share it and make friends but then I might hear a million things about myself personally and I sort of view that as like okay well yeah that's an interesting way to view that I didn't see it that way and so that has helped me in things like how I communicate as well as on the physical side, makeup, hair, outfits, you name it. So yeah, I think that having a job as a content creator has helped me with self-awareness and then that has helped me with self-esteem and body image. What jobs have you had in the past? So I, in college, started, actually in high school, I started as a Starbucks barista and I loved that job so much. Then I got mono in college, so I stopped that. I started interning a few months later and I interned as a web designer. And that's sort of how I switched my graphic design career more into an online space, which probably now it's the same thing, but back then it was like, you have your print designer job and you have your web designer job. And I sort of fell into the online space. I became a UI designer and I did that for like, a lot of years <laughs> and I ended up being a senior user interface designer. That was so rewarding to be able to think of things from um, not only the design side of things, but like actually making systems and communicate things on a visual level and thinking how people might click on something or how to deliver good information. So yeah, um, I sort of started in the graphic design advertising space and then went into the user interface design space. But when I go to conferences, what I really had a passion for is this idea of a personal brand. And so on the side, in the weekends, um, Zach and I were working like 80 hours a week trying to also create content for Dearly Bethany and, um, and work full-time jobs, all that together. So all of that was an experience, but I loved this job the most. And so this hobby just grew into something so much more. And this is what I do for a living now. Last one and probably the most important, will you be getting a puppy? Yes, <laughs> I will be getting a puppy. I wanna either get a, uh, the pronunciation's a little bit funny. I wanna go to Italy, I wanna try this out. They've got these Legato Romagnolo dogs that hunt truffles. I just think they're adorable. They've got a great texture. They're neutral in the color scheme, which would match everything else we've got going on. And they're sweet and they're smart. And so, yeah, I definitely love those. If it were up to me, I've always told Zach, like, if you go to heaven, I'm getting three Irish wolfhounds. I want protection, I want big dogs that I can cuddle with, and I would love to have just like three giant dogs. <laughs> and that's it for all of the questions. Be sure to enroll at leosculpt.com. There's only a few more hours left of enrollment, and so I would just absolutely adore if you joined me in this, and it's going to be a way for you to be able to access the program that my personal trainer had me do as I was working out and making some major changes in my life and confidence. And with that said, I will see you in the next video. Bye.